Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we're looking at Ada's Library. This is a two-player abstract strategy game with hand management, pattern building, and pattern recognition mechanics. Ada's Library is a new version of the previous game, Phoenix. Phoenix was originally released in 2003 and was published by Eurogames. Later on and in 2022, Plate released a new version of the game titled Ada's Library. The game has been rethemed with new artwork and components, with slight rule changes and number of components. In Ada's Library, the players must rearrange a pile of jumbled books in Ada's Library to match the order of a master bookshelf display. To set up, the players take a book in each color first, shuffle them, and lay them down in a row in the master bookshelf section in a random order. Then each player randomly draws 10 book tiles from the bag and arranges them in a row in front of themselves in the order they were picked up. Players are also dealt a hand of 5 action cards. On a turn, a player can either discard an action card or play one from, one from their hand. The action card allows players to perform various rearrangements of the books in their display, such as swapping the position of two books, moving a book left or right, swapping books with an, uh, with an opponent, or adjusting the master bookshelf. The goal is to be the first player to arrange the, the 10 books in their display to exactly match the order of the master bookshelf. When a player achieves this, they immediately win the game. Ada's Library is an abstract strategy game with hand management, pattern building, and pattern recognition mechanics. The game is designed by Zach Greenvoss and Amanda Greenvoss. It is illustrated by Wanjun Gill and is published by Plate. The game can be played by two players. I love the theme and setting. The book tiles are shaped like little books with each colored book set having its unique design. The artwork looked fabulous. I loved all the different illustrations and the use of the colors for all of the components in this game, including the game box. The iconic reviews on the various components was also very well done and easy to read. The components used were great. The game box itself was fantastic and transforms into the game board as well. The transforming box is one of the publisher's signature productions. The game cards were standard. The book tiles were fantastic wooden bits. The bag was standard. All of the components fit snugly inside the game box. The gameplay is really fun, I was surprisingly impressed. There was a lot of back and forth with the movement of the books, and you can even swap a book with your opponent to mess up their arrangement if that action is played at the right time. You can also change the arrangement of the master bookshelf as well, using very handy action cards to keep around for when the situation arises. The game is fast paced, very easy to learn and teach, and typically takes around 20 minutes to play. Overall, Ada's Library is a very fun to player abstract strategy game that I had a great time playing. I'm so glad that Plate decided to go with a new version for this title. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Take care, and until the next one, peace.